What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Motivational Monday. Um, jump, jump right into it. Uh, this weekend, uh, got to take my girls uh, snowboarding, and it's not snowboarding for the first time, but they are five and seven. So we took them uh, last year at four and six, and uh, my wife was pregnant last year with Brixton, so she wasn't able to go with us. Um, but that's actually how I met my wife. I, I taught her how to snowboard. And uh, so it's something that's pretty near and dear uh, to our hearts. We just, we love it. And um, it just, it kind of got me thinking about uh, the first time that I went snowboarding. And um, there's a local uh, ski slope to us um, that it's been open for years and years and years. But for a long time, they actually didn't let snowboards in. And uh, no offense to Brad, because Brad's a skier. We won't, you know, we're not going to make fun of him for that. But I mean, there is therapy for these kinds of things. Uh, but he he's a skier, and uh, but Perfect North did not let snowboards in for a long time, and, and I had no interest uh, in, in in skiing. Um, I had you know done some snowboarding in my backyard with my little plastic board uh, every winter. You know, I mean, it was going hard. Uh, so when I was like eleven or twelve, I think. They um, they ended up, you know, letting snowboards in. They got rentals in, all that stuff. And um, unfortunately, they they weren't gonna let me come to perfect or you know to the ski slope without um, you know having a legit board. Um, so it was towards the end of uh, end of the year. They had just got all the rentals in. Um, me and like five of my buddies that had always snowboarded in the backyard together. We we make the trek to Perfect North. Uh, man, we have no idea what we're doing. Um, we're good enough to stand up on a board and go straight and that, and that's pretty much it had had no idea how to get on a ski lift had you know didn't know how to use the magic carpet we had never seen a tow rope before just all these things um you know that that kind of you know now when i go over there it's just second nature um so i remember the first ski lift that we went up uh, we actually walked onto carrying our snowboards which is not at all what you do um we, we didn't even know that there was bunny hills. We No idea. So we just go to the top of the ski lift, and uh, we're going to figure out how to get down this thing. Uh, and all of us are good enough to go straight, but we have no concept of how to turn, how to use an net, I mean, how to do anything. We don't want to stop. Um, so needless to say, that first night was super interesting. Uh, nobody, nobody got hurt, but, uh, yeah, we were definitely sore the next day uh, as we went bombing down these hills. Um so now just thinking about my girls, um, all the things that I know not to do, um, I'm not like some amazing snowboarder, but I, I'm pretty decent at it. I've done it for a long time now. Um, so uh, getting to teach my girls the fundamentals of how to snowboard is really fun. Uh, and I'm getting to teach them, you know, obviously things that um, I didn't know to do, uh, you know, such as how to use a ski lift, <laughs> uh, you know, how to stop, all that stuff. So um, getting to save them, you know, a lot of hopefully pain and, and, and really the foundation that's laid for them of, of snowboarding is way better than the foundation that I had. You know, I, I didn't have anybody teach me. Um, it was just going over there with my buddies and we would, we were figuring it out together. So, um, you know, and granted when we first took them, they were three and, and six. So, um, it was, you know, I'm sorry, four and six. So it was a little bit of a, you know, you're dealing with a four and six year old. Um, but anyway, it, it really kind of got me thinking um, that about the foundations of life, the foundations of anything that you want to do. Um, and what happens is a lot of times, you know, for me, like I learned bad habits um, just, you know, snowboarding just because I didn't know any better. Uh, and the foundation of my snowboarding um, kind of had some cracks in it, kind of had some stuff that was fundamentally wrong that as I got better, I had to go back and revisit and fix. Um, and kind of the same thing happened to me on motocross. I, I, I got pretty fast, uh, but then I had to, uh, once I got to a certain point, uh, I, I ended up doing, you know, like mentoring with some guys that was faster than me. And some of the things on a motorcycle, I had to go back and relearn. I had to actually slow down and go faster because I had some stuff that was wrong. And, and, and hopefully I'm going to save my girls from some of that. 
Um, but in life, what happens, I think, is you know we have an idea or we want to start something or we have a relationship, whatever that whatever that may be. Um, we, we try to hurry up and lay the groundwork and then start building upwards from that groundwork. And we want to, we want to move on from that groundwork as, as, as quickly as possible to get to the next thing. Um, but what happens is if our foundation of whatever that we're building on isn't good, and then we start to have issues and we have to go back and revisit. Um, and sometimes those issues can be so big that, um, you know, the structural integrity of the, you know, building uh, is, you know, compromised that we have to start completely over. Um, so for your life, what's the things that you're working on? What's, what's your goals? What's your, uh, you know, where are you working towards in your life? Um, you know, maybe it's your race car, um, you know, and, and to go to the race car thing, like if you just, you know, everybody throws an 850 cert and whatever and, and starts to go drag racing. Well, now, like, um, 850 cert, like, it's it, horsepower is super easy. You know, you can get a, you could get a turbo motor out of your grandma's or grandpa's Silverado and, you know, put a turbo on it and, you know, you, you're going to go faster than 850. So what are you having to do? Because you hurried up and just threw this cage in this car now you're having to make the decision to most likely cut it out. You know, sometimes you can update it or whatever, but you're going to have to cut it out or do whatever and, and, and start your whole build over again, probably only after a season of using it, you know, if, if the, where you race that strict or whatever. So think about that, though, in things that you want to accomplish. You know, like I, I, I've thought, a lot about like what what we're doing in, in our life the the shop um, and I'm so thankful for the mentors that I had uh, and I'm so thankful for the mentors that we had that we listened to um, so I believe our foundation is really good we haven't really had to go back and revisit our core values we you know we tweak stuff along the way but we didn't have to go back and and completely tear it down um, so for this Motivational Monday, I think it's good to go through and, and look at the things that you want to accomplish. Make a list even, man, uh, of what you want to do and, and what's the foundational things that you need to do to make whatever you want to accomplish easier in the long run. It may be a lot harder in the beginning, but long-term goal makes it easier. Um, and just one more quick example of the same thought is... Um, you got to see uh, this month the bad pennies on the cover of Fastest Streetcar. Um, and I remember Mike and Sam, they came in, uh, and Mike told me that he eventually wanted to race Ultra Street. And in the same sentence, he told me that he just wanted an 850 cert cage. Well, even at that time, you know, three or four years ago or whatever, however, I'm bad at time, um, they were already, you know, going in the fours like 490s, 480s, maybe even a little faster than that. But whatever that number was, they were already going to the fours. So I knew as like someone that he's coming to, you know, do business with or have their car built, like, man, there's no sense of you putting an 850 cert cage in this car because you are going to f exceed it super fast. So to meet your goal that you want to do, you're way better to, you know, spend the money up front and make the foundation of this car good. Um, and that's what they did. It, it took them a little longer, you know, things like that, just because obviously it was more expensive. But in the long run, it ended up, they met their goal a lot quicker and a lot easier because they did it right the first time and they laid the foundation out really well. So we love you. Lay some foundations, build some houses, do it a little differently than everybody else. <laughs>